I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. There is more to 10 snips than you know. You're just cutting sheet metal, right? What's, what's the big deal? Well, the key is, is that there's tons of different types of tin snips for different cuts. And if you wanna make a clean cut, which I would assume you do, uh, you wanna have the right tin snip for the right cut. Is that crucial for an everyday user in their garage? Maybe not. But if you are consistently making cuts every day at sheet metal, you're gonna want the right snips. So let's take a look. The easiest one to see anyway between the tin snips is the difference between your standard tin snips and aviation snips. These are what we consider a standard design for tin snips. It's all about the length and the length of the handle especially that creates leverage when cutting into metal. Depending on materials, whatever kind of thicknesses especially uh, you're cutting, a lot of people prefer the conventional style. But in the 30s, uh, a guy named, uh, a guy from Germany, mind you, named Karl Klink invented the aviation snips, also known as compound snips, where this is really just, you know, two sides of this put together, like a pair of scissors. These are made out of multiple pieces that create a, a ton of leverage and a much shorter piece. Um, so they're more compact, obviously, but it also really reduces the, the, the fatigue on your hands. And if you're using these all day, I mean, that's huge. I think one of the more interesting variations between all the snips is that there are right-handed and left-handed versions, but that has nothing to do with these guys. Uh, it has everything to do with the curve you're cutting and not whatever your dominant hand is. If you're right-handed, you don't need right-handed snips. If you're left-handed, you don't need left-handed snips. Okay, I'm gonna move behind the camera now and we're gonna get in close and it's gonna be just so, just so it's a little bit more natural for me so I can show you what the difference is. It's all about the bottom blade of your tin snips. So if you notice here on this pair, the, the bottom blade curves left. On the part number, it even says L for left. So these are best for cutting left or counterclockwise because what what will happen is that your sheet metal will stay straight here and then will curl up this way and your what you're cutting the part that you're cutting that you want to stay straight will stay true with your curve so here's the right hand pair and we're gonna as you see we're it's it's we're going right so we're gonna cut clockwise and this part on the right side will stay straight and the, the sheet metal will cur curl up, excuse me, will curl up to the left. I know that's kind of confusing. Uh, it was confusing to me at first too. Um, I had to kind of, you know, you have to kind of think through, like I'm cutting right and so I need right-handed snips so that it curls this way. And so it really, sometimes if you're gonna cut a lot, curves this way, that way, it might behoove you to have two pair, a right-handed and a left-handed. Another variation is straight versus offset. I'm going to use these two because these are the most drastic example in my opinion. You notice they're just, you straight cut, you can cut a notch in something, whereas these are offset so that when you cut, your hand is above the material and you can keep cutting along like longer runs. Um, if you're doing a shorter run, a few snips, that one, longer runs, offset. One last Really broad generalization. Yes, there are exceptions to the rule, but in general, longer, straighter blades are for longer, straighter cuts and more rapid. Shorter blades, stubbier blades are more for curves and more detail-oriented things. I know what you're thinking. I just say it out loud with me. Colin, show me some really specific examples of different 10 snips. No problem, I got some right here. Punch snips are on the heavier side, they're especially in design of the joint, uh, the handle, they're really good for say, uh, short straight cuts, notches, heavier materials. Those aviation snips we've been looking at uh, for the right and left hand are also called ideal snips. They're, as we saw, good for curves. The offset design allows it, the material as you cut it to go away from the hand, which is obviously nice. And the massive jaw on these is really good for especially thick material. I showed the ideal snips 
for right and left because it's very obvious which way they're going. If you're doing curves though, uh, a lot, you might look at shape cutting or profile snips. You can see these are very curved in there and the shape of the jaws. Um, they give you really refined accuracy when cutting curves. There's lots of different variations of the pattern snips category. Our standard ones we were looking at are pattern snips. These are also pattern snips. These are uh, longer. Um, these are the ones we looked at earlier too for the longer jaws, mainly for straight lines, but also for really gentle curves, not really hard turns. If you're just kind of going in a nice little way, you can look at some pattern snips. These are my favorite. They look like a pelican. They're called pelican snips. They're really offset, as you can see. So if you're going on a straight line and along a huge line of material, look at pelican snips. I know I'm pushing the boundaries by even including these because I know these really aren't really tin snips. These utility snips by NWS um, are really kind of just scissors, um, but if you're dealing with foil or you know or those clamshell packaging, we all hate cardboard, um, really, really thin metal, uh, these are great. And then these jewelers snips, which are the most refined, well, that we carry anyway, uh, meant for, well, jewelers, gold, silver, um, really thin, lighter gauge stock, really intricate, fine cuts. And if I was pushing it on those last ones, I'm really pushing it on these. These are nibblers, which are made to cut a small kerf out of sheet metal, uh, which probably require a whole video to themselves. I hope that gives you a broad and specific uh, overview of the tin snips that especially we carry, but in general that you can find out there. As always, like this video, subscribe to the KC Tool YouTube channel. Check us out, Instagram, Facebook, we're, we're everywhere. And of course, at kctool.com. See you guys later.